Hello, hello. How is everyone doing? Are you guys ready? Let's go. It's time to level up. It's time to really boss up today. So I got some real talk for y'all. Let me tell you, I got some real talk and I hope some of you are ready for real talk today. Real talk is not to be rude or mean or pushy, but more like a spanking, <laughs> a, a, a gentle spanking. And, um, just to kind of help you take things to that next level, right? It's, it's like a special level of awareness that we don't, sometimes we don't have because of lack of knowledge or lack of experience. That's all it really is. So if you're new here, my name's Sarah. Um, I go by Level Up Boss, or you can call me Boss. Some people call me Boss. They go, yes, Boss. I'm not a boss. I just tell myself I'm a boss because I'm in charge of what I do to create my life to build my business, right? That's why I call myself a boss. I'm in charge, right? To of my future and my destiny. So that's why I call myself a boss. Um, but what I really wanted to talk to you guys today was going to be a, a little bit of like a, a wake up call for some of you. And some of you, it's going to really help you take things to the next level. So today I want to talk about, let's get real. Let's, let's just get real here for a minute, right? How much do you really want to build a successful business? I think I, I think I had to ask myself this question many times where <laughs> I would have to go, how bad do I really want this? How bad do I really want to be financially free? How bad do I want to be able to say to my children yes to everything without having to say no? How bad do I want to get my family out of financial debt? And how bad do I really, really don't want what happened to me and my family to ever happen again? So a little bit of a backstory here. Uh, my husband and I, we, we were in the military and my husband served for 10 years. We had it all. We had medical insurance. We had dental insurance. We were, we thought our lives were secure, right? We thought we were good for the rest of our lives. We really did. We had a 3,000 square foot home, green in a beautiful brand new community area. We got to travel. I got to spend anywhere between five to $600 a month without the fear of not having money. So I could buy my kids food out to eat. I could, I could get them shoes and clothes, not to gloat, but to, to really paint a picture here, right? We had a lot of amazing blessings. As my husband's a very hard worker. He continues to provide and he's an amazing provider. And um, we also had, we had amazing cars. You know, we had computers, we had technology. We were without struggle like we didn't really we had struggles but we always knew things were going to always work out and we didn't have that fear factor right so one day you would well first you would think that someone who's in the military or someone who has a job in the military would be secure how many of you guys think your current life is secure right you've got a job your spouse has a job how many of you feel a sense of security right now in your life well, I want to get real with y'all. A sense of security is fake. It really is. That's why I'm talking to you guys in, in realness here. Like, we were military, locked in with contracts for the military. And it, it's never 100%. Like, she says, nothing is ever 100%. But I thought it was. I, I was living it up. I could get my hair done, my nails done. I was, spo I was spoiled. I still am. <laughs> my husband loves me very much. I thought my family would never have to go through a horrible crisis um, because I thought my husband was going to be secure in the military. But something, it's an unfortunate event happened while he served in, for his country um, by someone else's big mouth who decided to say things that got our entire life to just come crumbling down. We lost, we could no longer afford our 3,000 square foot home. I could no longer afford to buy diapers for my daughter um, when she was born at that. I'm going to start crying. Um, we were, my husband had to get a second job. We lost our military insurance. We had to change cars because we couldn't afford car payments anymore. We, um, I couldn't afford a daycare to get a job because I didn't have any family around. Um, yeah, it was... It was a real slap in the face. It really was. And 
it was an unfortunate event. My husband, though, he buckled up and he said, all right, I'm going to work a second job. So I didn't see him and have help with the kids. I was basically at home trying to figure things out with him. It was, it took me a slap in the face to realize that nothing is ever 100% secure. It never is. So this is what I'm talking to you guys and, and with real talk today. This is real talk. I want you to really ask yourself, how prepared are you personally for something like this situation to happen to your family, to lose everything, to lose money, to lose cars, to not be able to live in your, in your home? I'm not trying to scare you. I'm trying to open your eyes, okay? Because I was serious. I told myself I'm going to figure out how to make some extra money. Why? <laughs> it was because I wanted to buy diapers for my daughter. That was it. I just wanted diapers and I wanted to take them to Chick-fil-A. And I didn't want my husband to not have gas money to go to work. I didn't want to feel like we would never have a way to find an extra source of something, some type of money coming into our household. So when I when I made that decision, I got real with myself. I said, how bad do I want this? And I wanted it bad because I had a very, very strong purpose and a real reason to do it. So I had to get very uncomfortable. I jumped into network marketing with such realness, such seriousness that I've never had before in my entire life. I've done sales before, before all that, right? I was in Mary Kay. I did uh, Mella Luke, not Mella. I was Mary Kay. I did uh, Senegens and I did Avon. I, I've tried those things, but I never took it seriously. You know, they were just things to do for fun, to have products, to try products, to share things, but I never really needed it. Does that make sense? So, when I finally told myself I'm taking this seriously, I had to ask myself, what does it take to achieve what it is that I'm trying to achieve, which could be an extra two or three hundred dollars a month? So I want to ask you that same question. What is it really going to take for some of you to wake up and ask yourself, when are you going to buckle up and take it seriously? Because one, look at the economy we live in and how many people are losing jobs. Am I right? How many of you think that your jobs are secure right now, right? We don't know where the economy is going. Eggs are $10. Um, gas prices are climbing. Did you know gas prices in California currently are about almost $7, right? We just don't, we just don't know. We just don't know. We're not supposed to know. It's not about knowing. It's not about any of that. We're not supposed to know. We don't know where the economy is going. We don't know if it's going to get better in a year or if it's going to go downhill. We don't know if our family is going to have jobs. We just don't know. We're not supposed to know. So what can you do currently to create a sense of security is to figure out how serious do I need to get to really make some extra money so I can be prepared. Because all you can do in this life is be prepared and take action. That is what you have control of right now. Some of you have control to say yes. Some of you have the ability to just say, let's go. Yeah, the economy is, is nuts right now. I hope it gets better fast. Uh, yeah, me too. We just don't know, right? So while I'm sitting there, I remember this very, very serious conversation I had with my husband. We were in the office. He was sitting, um, he had one desk and I had the, uh, had the other by the way, we only lived in that house for like maybe four years. We didn't even get to enjoy it. We still had like, we didn't even have furniture up yet. We were just brand new. So he was sitting on one side and I was sitting on the other side. And I remember talking to him. He's like telling me, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what we're going to do. I, I can't, I, 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 we have to do the car payments. We have to sell the house. We have to do this. Diapers and like grocery bill, like the grocery bill is climbing. We've got kids, right? We have all these things that we were so afraid of. I remember that sense of feeling that I felt when I was sitting there with the across from him going, how can I help? I feel helpless. I'm a woman and I'm smart and I'm capable and I have a lot of skill sets. I have worked before. What can I do to help? 
That's what I was asking myself. And there was nothing I could do because I had to take care of three little kids. And I was like, I can't, I can't work. If I work, I'm going to pay for daycare and that $300 that I just made in a week is going to be taken from me. I don't make as much money as my husband. There's just no possible way. No possible way quickly. Possible, yes, but no possible way quickly. So that's when I told myself, I know there's a way to make money. I just have to be willing to try and go after it. So what did I do? I got really blessed at the time and got into an opportunity where I got to share uh, products that gave people a service that they use every day, okay? Coffee, um, what else did they take? They, they had coffee, they also had vitamins, they had shampoo, soap, all that stuff. Things that people use on a daily basis. It was great, right? It was great, it was fantastic. I really liked it. But then somebody, again, circumstances, everything happens for a reason. <clears throat> somebody decided to contact the company and say I was out of compliance. And so the company basically kicked me out because I decided to post something about cannabis, CBD oil, because I was curious about it. I was like, who's taking it right now? Who would be interested in taking it? Who's taking it right now, right? It was brand new. Everything happens for a reason, guys. I trust the process. So then this amazing company came into my, into my lap during one of the most craziest times where CBD and cannabis just launched. And I was like, this is awesome. I have never seen my messenger box go off crazy. People asking me about cannabis, CBD, CBD, uh, all these other things. I was like, this is so cool. It was so easy to sell. And CBD worked for me at the time. Okay, so I was like, this is amazing. It's right. I'm telling you guys this because I'm getting somewhere. So... Unfortunately, no, first I start with this company because of that company, I was making at least a thousand five hundred dollars a month. And then on top of that, I was making weekly paychecks. And then on top of that, I was also making rank bonuses. So I was cashing in. I was like, whoo, hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, which I'm blessed because. We were on a trip from California to, no, from, from South Carolina to California, trying to move to California with my parents uh, temporarily. And we ran out of money while we were on the road. We only, and then all of a sudden I got a bonus paycheck from the, the company. And it was like an extra $1,500, something around that. Guys, that money got me the rest of the way to California. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, thank you, God. Thank you, right? God's been looking out for me, guys. He's he's my number one, okay? He is my hero. He is my support. He is my beacon. He is everything. I, I am blessed to, to to the things that he has done for me. Um, so we went to California. And then something happened. My body changed. And CBD was no longer working for me. I had such severe anxiety because of, I think because of all the financial struggles we were going through and changes in our life. I think it just, it just became too much. And then I got diagnosed with PMDD. Guys, nothing is 100%. You guys see where I'm going at here? The companies are not 100%. The, the, my husband's job's not 100%. All, of these, all these other things are never 100%. You just got to roll with the punches, right? You just got to go roll with the punches. So finally, I, I really had to contemplate leaving this company because I'm a type of person where I cannot share something I do not believe in. I cannot talk about something I do not believe in because I am not a hustler for only wealth. I am a hustler for change. I am a hustler to help people and that's just because I've always thought with my heart, not my head or my wallet. This is not my style. It's never been my style. So I, I contacted a friend. I told him I was going to leave the company. He's like, oh, don't do it. You know, you shouldn't do it. But I couldn't sell a product that just wasn't helping me anymore. So I made my decision and left. But something deep down inside of me said, you got to have a backup, Sarah. You just can't just not, you know, you've learned your lesson the first time. You have to have some source of income. What are you going to do next? 
you have PTSD from network marketing companies, you have PTSD from network marketing teams who said they were going to be there for you and weren't there for you. Um, you had no coaching, you have no, no upline, you have people who have left you, you have people who have talked shit about you on social media, like, is it worth it to do it again? Serious PTSD, guys. Like, I was heartbroken. I was so pissed. But I said, none of that is going to stop me because there's no way I'm not going to be prepared again. Just no way. No way, Jose. <laughs> not That shit ain't happening again. Guys, the things that happen to me, everything happens for a reason. I believe everything is a lesson to be learned. So the things that happened to me in all the previous companies were learning experiences. I don't have any hate or shame about what happened. I'm actually very blessed and very grateful for the things that happened because I have learned so much. I know what not to do. <laughs> Does that make sense? I know what not to do and I know how to do better. So I learned from these experiences and I took them with me. So then I was like, okay, we're going to give this one more shot. This is it. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. So I decided I was going to join this company with the number one network marketer inside of network marketing. And her name is Jessie Lee Ward. I partnered up with her because I needed someone who was going to spank my butt. Some of y'all need spankings too. Okay. Jessie Lee gave me such a spanking quite a few times where it scared the bejesus out of me. She gave me so much anxiety because I realized I wasn't taking it real. I wasn't being serious enough. And I realized through so much experience that if you're not scared, you're not taking it real enough and you're not going anywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. LOL, JK. <laughs> so when, Je when Jesse Lee kept giving me those spankings, instead of moving forward, I ran backwards. I was like, no, it's too scary. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> you know, I just kept like shying away from the opportunity. And it was just my PTSD. I was just scared. I was just, I, I was driving forward with fear. I had to let that shit go in the past, right? And just let it go. But it was not easy for me. I had to trust again. I had to trust the team again. I had to trust an upline again. I had to trust a company again, right? A lot of things I had to get over. And then something happened to me while I was in the company. But I, listen, Linda, listen. Yes, that's what she was to me. Something happened where I got pissed. I was like, oh, hell no, this didn't happen to me again. I was like, I'm gonna launch my own company. We're doing it right? I was serious. I was dead serious on doing it. So dead serious. I bought an LLLC. I built a, a, a logo and everything. I, I, I have the company name. I was already working on the brand. I worked on the brand guys. I even had the, um, the meaning of it and where this company was going. I had the products in mind. I had the fire in the drive. I was serious. I was calling places, figuring out network marketing softwares. I was ready to go. I was like, let's do this. And then I realized something. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason. If I launch this company right here, right now, I will not have time for my children. I will not have time for my kids. I will be so busy building a company from the ground up that I will not be able to see my little daughter grow up. So that stopped me because my babies are more important to me than anything in this world. I will not do anything that will sabotage anything for them. I was willing to sacrifice that dream because I love them so much. And then I realized that what I was dealing with was such fear and so much anxiety, right? It's, it's a killer. It's a killer, guys. Anxiety and fear is a killer. It will, tr it will damage you. It will stop you. It will keep you small. It really will. So then I knew I had to fix that. I knew I had to fix my anxiety. Went and got medication, tried different medications, talked to my doctor, did some exercise, tried freaking meditating. I did, you know, all these things and nothing was working because I was full of fear, right? Some of you are full of fear right now. Fear of trying. Fear, fear of success. Fear of moving forward, fear of commitment 
all of those things. You're afraid of it all. So I went to the company of it. I knew something. I knew I committed myself to that's it, right? Nothing else. Nothing else. I'm not going anywhere else. This is going to be, this is going to make it happen. I went to our company event recently and I found something I've never seen before. Okay. Sorry. I found something in this company I've never seen before. I found hope because I lost hope. A little, little piece of me was a loss of hope. Life was hard. I went through so much shit. I, I just, my hope was just dwindling. But when I went to this company event, they brought hope back into my heart, which I was really grateful for. And I'm sharing all this because I want you to realize that nothing is 100% guaranteed, right? We just don't know where the economy is going. We don't know anything. And you never know whether something's going to be successful. You never know if you're going to fail or you're going to win. You just never know. I went to the company event, came back, fired up. But I still had something dealing with my health, right? My health, something was going on with my health that I need to fix first. I found something natural. You can message me if you want to. I only share it because it could help you, right? I have severe anxiety to the point where I have panic attacks, really bad ones. And it's gotten worse over the years. And so I found something natural that has been able to help me. I do not sell this product. Uh, this is, I don't get an affiliate link or anything. So if you want information on it, feel free to message me. It's like, Hey, I have really bad anxiety. Please tell me what it is that you use. It worked for me. My aunt uses it too. And it's been an, an amazing transformation in my mental health, helping me less anxious, less anxiety. I still have it, but it's not, it's manageable now, right? It's so much more manageable and I love it. And it's been helping me so much. That's just on a, on a separate side note. So as you guys can see, I went through so much shit. So how serious do you think I was to make it happen? I was willing to struggle, to fail, to fall, but to continue to climb despite the things that kept happening to me because I knew there had to be a way. There has to be a way to do this. So I buckled up, joined this company, and have been growing income since. I'm not allowed to make income claims because I'm here with this company, but I can tell you that my business is growing and I feel very blessed for it because not only am I making sales, but I'm transforming people because see, here's the thing. I got really, really sick, right? Because I got really, really sick. I know there's a lot of other people out there who are sick too. And I love that our product helps people feel better and it helps them think about improving their health, their mental health and their physical health. I love that, right? But how serious are you and how much are you willing to go through all of the shit storm, all of the struggle, all of their learning experience, all of your fears and your anxiety to say, I am serious, I'm going to get committed and I'm going to stop shying away from the fact that I don't know whether or not I'm going to be successful or not. I don't know whether or not it, I, I, I don't know what's going to happen, right? You, you just really have to take yourself seriously and figure out how bad do you really want this. If you fall, are you going to climb up? If things get difficult, are you going to continue to push forward? It's your choice. But I want you guys to get real with yourself because if you get real with yourself, then you're going to be able to get to the next level, which is telling yourself enough is enough, enough excuses, enough fear, enough anxiety, enough self-doubt, enough struggle. Who freaking cares where I'm going? I have no idea. I'm just going to roll with the punches. You are going to become successful if you are willing to have that attitude and mindset. And I want you guys to be successful. I want you to prosper. I want you to succeed. But all of that is on the other side of how serious you're willing to take your business and, and really commit to it. What time are you going to wake up? Do you have a system, a schedule? I'm going to work my business from here to here. Have you set your goals? Are you showing up when no one else is showing up? I'm reading a book right now called Courage. And I love this because I actually I wrote it down. I'm reading this book called Courage. And there's a line in here. 
Let me see if I... Or is it? Whatever. Okay, I'll find it in here. All right here, it's called Courage is Calling. And I guess it's kind of motivating me to talk real like this for you guys. <laughs> it says right here, it says, Courage is a risk. It is sacrifice, commitment, perseverance, truth, and determination. When you do the thing others cannot or will not do, when you do the thing that people think you shouldn't or can't, and it also says here, when you like it basically says because I, I don't know if I can find it while I'm talking to you guys and I don't want to spend hours trying to find it but basically it says that you're brave enough to the fact where you're just gonna kick yourself in the ass to do it and I was like yeah if you're you have to find the courage to kick yourself in the ass and get up and do it guys this is all about taking, it takes a lot of courage and risk to believe in something and to go after it. But when you do, I want you to be damn proud of yourself when you do it. So ask yourself, how serious do you want to be successful? How serious do you want your business to flourish and grow? Because some of you are not serious enough that you're not showing up for your goals. You're not showing up to, to do your live videos. You're not showing up doing the things that scare you. You're not staying committed to your schedule. You're not putting it as a priority. And some of you are asking yourselves, why am I not making the money that I agree that I want, you know, the money that I believe I could be making. And this is something that I learned from Grant Cardone. He says, don't underestimate the amount of work you have to do to achieve your goal. So if you have this goal in mind, don't underestimate how much work you have to do to get there. Do not be afraid of hard work. Do not be afraid of, do not, not be afraid of it, but don't, don't shy away from it. Don't tell yourself you can't do it because it is a lot of work. It, it's all it is, is just work and commitment. And it's going to take you a lot of time to finally commit to that schedule. So if you truly want to create results and success in your business, you need to start working. You need to start showing up at a level that no one else is willing to show up. If someone else is only showing up for four hours, you need to show up for six. If someone else is only going to post one or two times a day, you need to show up and post four or five. Some of you guys are like, oh my God, that's too much. It depends on how determined you are. And, it, and it's no one's opinion to tell you what is enough and what whether or not you're doing too much. It's you. It's you. How badly do you want your goals to happen? How badly do you want to make $1,000? How badly do you want to make $200 extra a month? How badly do you want to be, you know, have a brand new car? How bad do you want your business to be successful? How bad do you want it? And if you say, I really want this to work, then you're going to have to buckle up and get ready for the ride. And this is real talk. You're going to have to do the things that you don't want to do. You're going to have to wake up at the times that you don't want to wake up. You're going to have to make the posts that you don't want to make. You're going to just have to do it. And here's the thing. When you are running a business, there is no one else who's going to tell you to do it. It's you, baby. It's all you. I, you want things to be easy? That's not possible. You know, I was on a, I, I was messaging someone and we just launched this new system and they're like, I hope it's not going to be too hard. I was like, I hope I challenge you. I really do. I'm at this point now that if I'm not challenged, if you're not willing to take up the challenge, then I can see you are not serious about growth. And I understand that now because I think this way already for myself. I already challenge myself a lot and I sometimes get afraid of challenges, but I always tell myself, you got to try and you're going to fail, but you're going to try again, Sarah, right? You just got to put in the effort to learn something new. And it's hard at the beginning, but it's so worth it, guys. It's so worth it. All of this stuff that I'm telling you to overcome is worth it because at the end, not even at the end because it never ends, but through the process, you're going to become so much stronger. You're going to learn how to handle things so much more. You're going to learn things about yourself 
and you're going to make things happen, you're going to look at yourself and be like, damn, look what I can do. Look how far I can actually push myself. Look what I'm capable of. That's what you're going to say. And then eventually you're going to get to a point and you're going to be like, how much more can I do? How much farther can I push myself? This is real talk. How serious do you want to be successful in your business? And how many of you are prepared for the things that life likes to throw at you? And are you willing to be strong enough to overcome your own fears and self-doubts and pain and struggles in life to make things happen. I will say this to end this live, but do through your journey, I don't want you to do it alone. Through your journey, I want you to lean on other people, not one-on-one, -on -one, but I want you to lean on other people who are making it happen and who are teaching you how to improve yourself every single day. I want you to listen to podcasts that are teaching you how to think differently about struggles. I want you to listen to podcasts that are teaching you how to make wealth and money. I want you to partner up with someone who also is going to help you achieve success and results. I want you to have someone you can use as a guide but not as a crutch because no one else can be your crutch. You have to buckle up, boss up, and do it on your own. And that's just real talk. Welcome to real talk. All right. I love you guys. I hope you take this as a moment of awareness and openness. And I hope you take this in as Sarah's just here to get me to open up my mindset, to open up my awareness because she just wants me to succeed. She just wants me to have fulfillment and happiness in my life, which is what I want for you. And I want you to rock it like a badass that you are. I really do. And maybe, maybe you don't believe in yourself right now, but I promise you, if you don't give up, you will eventually. You will find it. I love you guys. Continue to go out there. Continue to push for your dreams. And don't throw in the towel. I want you to commit and promise yourself that you're going to stop throwing in the towel when things get hard and challenging. Push forward because it, it's the success doesn't come until after you get through that time. Like Through that struggle, on the other side, it is greener. But you got to get through it first. All right. I love you guys. Go out there and crush it. Um, thanks for watching this live. If there's someone that you want to hear this message, feel free to tag them in the comments below. But I'm here to help you guys. Um, I'm here to spank y'all's booties. Okay. I'm here to spank it. I'm here to get real with y'all. All right. Love you guys. Have a good day. Bye everybody.